you know what does it mean if there is a more light if there is a more light what does it mean more photon what does it mean more photon if the, the, the rate of light is high if the day time because if you compare day with night day time we have more light if the light is more that means more photon will come on to the photoreceptors are on the retinal layer that's mean they will absorb more they will absorb more and this is easy for brain to the magnify or understand to object that the structure that's clear what really happen some animal which eyes grow in light they need more mechanism they need more light also in night because in night with compared to day there is less night there is less light for that some vertebrates have taptum lucidum some vertebrate have taptum lucidum is a reflective layer it is what it is a reflective layer a reflective layer also if you look on structurally they have connective tissue fibers connective tissue fiber also have polyhedral cells also have some associated uh, you know chemicals like zinc like riboflavin you know vitamin listen again carefully fully you will understand first here where what is the location of taptum lucidum there is three kind of any types of animal one human human camel birds they do not have taptum lucidum okay taptum lucidum is absent in human camel and birds that's clear animal like reptiles reptilian species fishes fish they have what taptum lucidum but that taptum lucidum in reptilian and fish is associated with retina associated with retina okay but animal like herbivorous like cattle horse sheep goat and carnivorous carnivorous which animals dog and cat dog and cat they have a taptum uh, lucidum but that taptum lucidum actually found within the choroid layer within the in the tunica vascular within the tunica for example in other sense if these are the three layer this one is what this one is retina with optic nerve fiber this second one is the tunic vascular here you will find on the dorsal side okay between other sense between retina and choroid but actually this is associated with the vascular layer of choroid which is associated with the vascular layer of choroid this structure here this layer or this is known as what taptum lus why this is called reflectic this is the functional importance of this structure why this is called as reflectic layer because the photons which are coming from the light they will when they will pass on this retina this layer will bounce back this layer will yes normally they go forward to the optic nerve to the brain but if there is a taptum lucidum they do what they will bounce back reflect that photon back to the retina actually due to this activity this taptum lucidum actually provide one more chance to photoreceptor absorb this photon absorb because if the you know photo uh, this uh, photons are less 
or they are scattered uh, distribute different areas not all photons going to hit the photoreceptors not all photon is going to hit the photoreceptor so if they are pass on from the retina did not absorb by the photoreceptor so this will reflect back this septum lucidum will do what they will re reflect back and due to this refl reflection here is the we have what photoreceptor they have one more chance they have one more chance to do what to do absorption again so this due to this ref, uh, refle, uh, reflection to this reflection and there is the some chemicals which involve this is a pigmentation like zinc like like riboflavin uh, riboflavin this is a vitamin okay so due to this when this reflection is occur so animals eye shines animal eyes in the night well this reflection occur due to the taptum lucidum animal eyes shines in the night you know this shining color is different not all animals which do the this characteristic like cat uh, this dog and cat more prominently are uh, rep, even reptile and fishes so this <coughs> all eyes shines but the the color is different and this is the depend on different kind of chemicals present in taptum lucidum and other two important terms you may heard when you study taptum lucidum especially is the histology of taptum lucidum you will study you will find people will write taptum fibrosum taptum and taptum cellulosum taptum cellulosum so what is this actually people is believe that in the species which are actually herbivorous which are herbivorous like this cattle sheep goat the layer actually mainly consist of what of this is mainly consist of of the connective tissue fibers connective tissue fibers and in carnivorous in in dog and cat this septum lucidum is mainly consist of a polyhedral cellular layer a cell a polyhedral shaped cell a layer of cell okay a layer of cell even you know that in the case of dog you will find here under microscope 15 layer of cell 15 layer of cells in which animal dog up to 30 in cat up to in cat point is that in carnivorous we have what taptum cellulosum polyhedral cells making 15 to 30 layers okay behind the retina behind the retina and in herbivorous this taptum lucidum is actually taptum fibrosum have many layers of fibers have many layers of fibers that's clear so listen again carefully taptum lucidum is an anatomical structure a reflective layer present in the eyeball of many vertebrates between retina and the vascular cord between retina and the vascular cord they do reflect the photon to provide an other chance to the uh, photoreceptor cells to reabsorb the light this is a mechanism which help if there is a less light outside especially in the night so this is a mechanism helps animal to observe or you know view much betterly because of the taptum but due to this procedure and result maybe in the night many animals eyes glow or shine so roughly layman also called taptum lucidum is eye shiner also called as taptum lucidum is as eye shiner that's clear